Heyo, what's up guys? It's Dr. Cloud here, and I'm bringing you a brand new series. We're doing Pokemon Heart Gold, but to mix it up, we're gonna do a Shady Lock. Now, for most people, probably aren't over familiar with the idea of what a Shady Lock is, so we're gonna take our traditional Nuzlocke rules, like nicknaming and a Pokemon, if it dies, it's gone forever, and we're gonna add a few more things onto that. So as you can see, like on the layout, we have uh, some a coin like up here. Uh, sorry, not sorry, up here, and that's for tokens. So at the start of this game, I'm gonna go ahead and start this. It says I'm gonna start kind of like moving through this. At the start of this game, I'm gonna start with three tokens, and if I ever want to heal from Nurse Joy, then I have to use one of these tokens. But I can use regular healing items just like normal. So. I can still buy potions just fine. And then additional healing items like uh, your mom who heals you, I think, and uh, like a bed on a ship or something like that can be used once. So you have to use those very strategically and make sure you keep track of them. And you will get more tokens once you beat your rival or gym leaders. So. You really just have to like be very careful about how you're using each of your Pokemon. Now, this game is a hundred percent randomized. Like, you know, we're not we're not trying to just play around with some basic, you know, toe to dial Chikorita stuff. Like, come on. Uh, so we're gonna call ourselves uh, Cloud, 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 Cloud. Uh, my dog also decided to bark too. Apparently, she also likes the name Cloud. Um. And if you guys want to check out the like original version of this, it comes from Shady Penguin, which he will definitely be uh, linked in the description if you guys ever want to check him out. He's a definitely bigger creator and uh, big inspiration for me as a whole. And I've kind of been waiting a little while to do this. And I just kind of felt like now was a good time because uh, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, I recently hit 500 subs, which is halfway to a thousand. Which is whenever you like, um, in my mind, you, you've kind of like done it. You, you've gotten past like that really rough patch you have right at the beginning in getting people interested in your channel. So I'm about halfway there and I decided, you know what, I'm going to celebrate a little bit and I'm going to have a shady lock for the man who really inspired me to really do content creation. So we're going to be trying out this and in addition, we're also trying out a new program called PokeLink that will keep track of all of my Pokemon on my team for me. Uh, I'm gonna hope it's gonna work right, but you know, there might be some difficulties along the way. I am speeding this up because this is like painfully slow right now. <clears throat> a Shady Lock is definitely gonna be one of the more difficult things I've attempted because of that lack of the ability to heal, and I love using Pokemon Centers to heal over items, so this is like the exact contradiction on how I typically do things. So I, I'm gonna be in for it, is the way I'm trying to say this. Oh, and also just a thing, I love how like, so Shady, uh, Shady Penguin made this lock, and he, and I'm kind of like borrowing this idea from him, but also, like, I was like, man, that makes me very original. So what I did was, I grabbed my um, original shirt. I'll show you guys. Original. Which is also not original, because it comes from another content creator, uh, Original151. And I just found it very funny. It's like, I can kind of, like, do this, like, uh, I think they're called, like, double entendres. Where it's like, I mean, I mean one thing, but it also means this other thing. All right, let's check out what our starters are. Okay, cool, we got an Alkazam. We got a Dusknoor. And we got a Hitmonchan. Okay. Oh, uh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Those are all amazing starters. Okay, um... I know, I know for a fact, like, Alkazam is, like, top tier amazing. But... He, he's only going to have confusion for a very long time as an attacking move. 
I don't know about Dusknoir. I don't really know what he gets. And I know Hitmonchan typically has, like, Comet Punch right now. Alright. I guess the other thing about the series is, apparently, it's going to require a lot more research than, uh, most of my previous series have. So, I need to do a little bit of research over on the good old CerebiJoe.com and make sure that uh, Hitmonchan and Dusknoir are even, like, viable choices for me right now. And because of my, you know, encyclopedic knowledge that I have of uh, having my mouth form a lot of spit whenever I need to talk, <clears throat> just kidding, of uh, Pokemon, it means I can find these Pokemon pretty quickly in the Pokedex. Or I could have used alphabetical feature, and that would probably be even easier. But we're not going to do that. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Okay, so Hitmonchan only has Revenge and Comet Punch to start. They both have good PP, though. And he learns Pursuit at 11, which also has good PP. He has, like, really good, like, uh, PP moves. So, like, that's tough. I'm actually going to use the, uh... Uh, alphabetical feature for Dusknoir, though. I think I, like, outed myself in the same five minutes that I pumped myself up. So, let's see, Dusknoir is going to have Disable, Nightshade, Leer, and Bind. Bind and Nightshade both have decent PP, but they're terrible moves. And he does not learn a lot for a long time. But Ghost Type Early On is really good, too. I don't know if I'm trying to talk myself up or down on these potential starters. Okay, I'm making sure I'm right about Alakazam, too. Has confusion, and it doesn't learn another attacking move until Psybeam at 24. I really want to say for, like... But Alakazam's so... Oh, but I'm going to use a lot of healing items on him, too. Oh, man. I don't think there's any way around it. Like, I think I can't choose Alakazam in this lock type. I think I'm going to have to pick um, Hitmonchan, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go Hitmonchan. That, oh, that's a, that feels so bad, man. But, like, I... It's not often you get to choose Hitmonchan as a starter. Hey, look, it worked perfectly. Look at that. Bam, Hitmonchan right there in the layout. Look how good he looks, too. Oh, yeah, so I am going to be naming um, all my Pokemon after recent subscribers to the channel. And I've got, like, a list of them. So, like, you know, if you're interested in uh, becoming a Pokemon, you can, like, leave a comment. You can subscribe to the channel and you will definitely be getting a name. I have no doubt in my mind. And I can't remember if um, if I randomized abilities. That was like one thing that I really just can't remember. It's been bothering me so much. He's still talking. I'm just gonna, yeah. I just wanna see if I randomized abilities. I totally did. He knows stall, or he has stall. Ooh, he's brave. That's actually not bad. Stall's actually, like, kind of good, though, for revenge. But other than that, not really. Hey, does stall work for, like, priority moves like Mach Punch? I'm, I'm not interested in having this conversation, bud. I was trying to, like, get through the beginning of this game, because, like, I'm pretty pumped to just kind of get some encounters. Now, okay, so... Shady Luck rules, I'm pretty sure, start with the start of the Nuzlocke itself. So, that won't start until we actually get balls. So this first episode, I'm going to try to kind of just move along a little bit. Because I... Oh, right. You have to talk to your mom. I might do a little bit of training, though, also, before I... Yeah, before... Or I actually start my Nuzlocke, because, like, Hitmonchan isn't bad, but, like, he's also not the best thing in the world, you know what I'm saying? 
though I'm a little bit worried about anything extra. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to take this nice and so let's just kind of enjoy like this music, you know? This time we get to go through these routes and just kind of experience them. Sometimes we're just in a little bit too much of a rush, you know? Sometimes we just need to stop and um, smell the daisies, is that what it's called? Smell the, smell the roses, smell the roses, yep. I know sayings. Uh, field items are 100% randomized, so like there's also an item up here. Okay, we can kind of scout out what our encounter is going to be. Let's check this out. Ooh, okay, we take Luxios. The Bella too already has uh, Spark too. That'd be sick. Um, let's go go Revenge. Like I'm, we're we're gonna definitely need hit right. I feel like Luxio only has like Tackle right now though. I need to change my tech speed to fast so bad right now. Wow, okay. The revenge almost one-shot stuff right now, so I'm gonna pretty much have to rely on Comet Punch to catch stuff. Yikes. I do not like relying on a move that... A multi-hit move that I just... There's no relying on that, you know? Right, I was gonna update tech speed. Fast tech speed, and let's get a good frame... I'm gonna go silver. I'm gonna have like contradicting frame to the layout because the layout is very like orange, yellow, reddish. I really like the layout though. There's something I got to whip together a little bit. Okay, okay. We take zap plates. So, hope your guys' day is going really well. Um, I was trying to record another video before this and I realized that like I just I didn't really want to do it. So I decided to jump over to this, and I actually do really want to do this badly, so like, it was like, okay, easy choice. Easy choice. Alright, I'm gonna go, I think this is a berry here, or they might have changed them all to apricots, I don't remember. I can actually one-shot this Lexia, so if I can just... Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, sure, sure. No reason to take it. You you would have no reason to know that that might be something good or important for you. I'm going to try to keep these episodes around that thir like 30 minute mark. Um, maybe some shorter, maybe some longer. We'll see kind of how it goes, but... Does this girl t give me anything? Like... The only thing I wish is, I wish you could run so badly at the beginning of this game. I've been on the wave with everyone else playing like uh, Radical Red recently. And that game feels so good to play because it's just, it's, there's someone who understands what a Pokemon player wants in a game. And the Pokemon company, I don't think actually understands that most of the time. I think they're too focused on moving forward that they'd never look back and see how they could improve something i think that's kind of an issue that they do have because a lot of people want like sprites back rather than 3d models and i wouldn't be mad to have a game with sprites like people make them all the time and they're great does this guy give me running shoes right now i think he does oh sweet they do let's go But yeah, I, I just I don't think it would hurt Nintendo as a whole to just kind of like slow down a little bit. <sighs> we a little tired today. Let's just go for that full five. Because apparently I'm not going to be able to use... I don't know what I'm saying, apparently like I'm surprised. I'm not going to be able to use Pokemon Centers the way I typically want to, so we're obviously going to need more potions than normal. So money, money is so crucial in this game. So like you battling trainers like could like make or break your whole run, but also you battling trainers could just kill you. 
Is that giving me the map card? Is that what it is? I forgot. Yep. Because there are so many people who played the original games back, you know, Gold and Silver Crystal days, who never got the map from this guy because they didn't talk to people. They were like, no, I want to play my Pokemon game and I want to catch my Pokemans. Oh, woo, oh, 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 baby, I got air mail? Air mail? Man, you know, you guys know where I'm gonna send that? I'm gonna send it to the air. Through the air. Didn't this guy give me the apricot bag? This is another thing, actually, that could be huge. Like, if I get to Kurt and, like, have a bunch of, uh, I kept saying apricots. Apricorns. Yeah, I've played a lot of Pokemon. Uh, if I get to Kurt and have a lot of Apricorns, then I could, uh, save a lot of money on balls and just use him for Apricorns. That would actually be super nice. <clears throat> I think there's another item right there. Yep. This is probably, like... My most played Pokemon game. Oh, where's my Farfetch? Where you? Where? 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 Where are you at? Where are you at? But yeah, this is probably my most played Pokemon game because it was my first Pokemon game that was like really mine. Uh, it was like my mom for like one Christmas, was like okay, you get this Christmas to decide one electronic item that you guys get to have for this Christmas, and I chose a DSI and Pokemon Soul Silver. And, man, if I can tell you, I played the crap out of that game, man. Like, so, I got so many, like, level 100s from that game. Like, my main team just, you know, I still have pictures on my DSi, because I still have it, um, of my team in that game. It was like, you know, I got my Feraligator, got my Ampharos, got my Pidgeot. I, I definitely... The rest of them, though. That hurts. No, they're not gonna come to me either. It's fine. Uh, I know he's a Venusaur, but that was later. <clears throat> and then, like, I also spent all the time on the GTS trying to fill up my Pokedex completely because, you know, I was like, you know, I've invested, like, you know, 700 hours into this game, I might as well complete the Pokedex now. I was out there, you know, doing the Pokeathlon and whatnot. You know, just playing the game to, like, its absolute maximum limit. And I didn't care if there was, like, a new game out. I was a kid, I didn't know about new games. Oh, my, my finger wasn't exactly, you know, on the pulse of what was going on when you're, like, 13. Maybe some kids nowadays would argue against that, though. Eh, whatever. Uh, but yeah, you know, I ended up completing the Pokedex in, um, in so my Soul Silver. Do I want a Magatite? I don't think I want another Fighting type that much. Oh. Okay, why, 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 I, uh, I don't want to hit you, so... I'll calm down a little bit, okay? Just just take a step back. We're fine. It's fine. But yeah, I feel like I'll always remember that. Because, like, I was just going through the Elite Four over and over with whatever Pokemon I ha needed to evolve to get the next part of the decks in my back pocket. Um, my rival very mic likely might have the Alkazam. Um... I'm pretty sure it doesn't even matter what level I am. If I fight this Alakazam, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose. Because all he has to do is hit one confusion, and that's it. I'm, I'm feeling so nostalgic right now, and like I'm also trying to remember what the rest of my team was. Oh yeah, okay. So each time I fight my rival, I'm pretty sure I, did, I, I have rival carry a starter throughout the whole game. This guy is going to have an Alakazam. This is going to make it so hard 
to play this game. Thank you for landing Comet Punch. Please land all five. Thank you, Pikmin. You are my savior getting crit first turn. Okay, I really would have liked you hitting a little bit more. Um, I think I'm dead right here, though. Oh, we live in! Pikmin? Pikmin? <gasps> my voice can't go any higher. Bruh. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. We, nah. Nah, I'm gonna hit my chin. Did not just be. Nah. We learned agility? No, but, uh, seriously. Really? Okay, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll take an extra level. That That's fine. That's fine. Give me that extra level, you know what I mean? I, I also want you to know, guys, I keep looking over and I'm like looking at the Hitmonchan on the layout and it's just like It reminds me a lot of the Starter Squad, for anyone who doesn't know that. Um, the Starter Squad is uh, is a YouTube series that went on, and there was like a guest star Hitmonchan on there, and he was hilarious, but he looks exactly like that, I swear. Now, in case you were worried, um, my Shady Lock uh, rules are now starting until I got Pokeballs, in case you guys forgot, so... I'm still good to heal right now, but I'm probably going to get balls right now, and I'm not going to, like, train up anymore. So I want to point out that also catching those Luxios is going to be, like, impossible. There is something else here, right? Like, it's not all Luxios. I, I think I'm, like, going to have to rely on Comet Punch, essentially, to catch that. And I need Comet Punch to maybe hit twice, but I think that's being kind of generous, to be honest. <sighs> combo punch only hitting twice is, is like unheard of from Pikmin. Pikmin's like, nah, three times. Three times a charm. Every time. Three hits and she's out. So I actually might not just throw balls, but like that's a huge waste of money. So I honestly don't even know. Something's gonna happen, I can tell you that. All right, all right. What am I naming my rival, though? That's the question. I've got I've got a few people like who have been challengers to my title of being a Pokemon master, but none of them have actually beaten me. I've been able to hold that title so far on this channel. I'm gonna name it TJ. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. All right. Uh, now that that's done, I'm gonna let Professor Elm freak out about an egg real quick. I mean, I like my eggs in the morning, but you know, I think he's a little bit too extreme. I like mine scrambled personally, but uh, I'm sure he's a hard boiled guy. Maybe raw, even, you know? And... I think you have to tell your mom again. Okay, yeah, yeah, Mom, no, I don't want you to save my prize money. I'm going to be low on money anyways. I'm just going to speed up right through the catching tutorial so we can get a few encounters here before the episode ac actually ends. Let's see if it's randomized, too. Oh, baby, I would have liked a uh, Larvitar. Would I want a Larvitar? That's one of those tough things. Do you want an early stage pseudo legendary or do you want. Would you rather just not? I'm gonna say before I get this because this game is a little bit. Um, you know, wonky about. Uh, you know, uh, graphics and such, so. The saving time for this is amazingly slow. Okay. First encounter pot potential. First encounter. Okay, is it that Luxio? Oh, 
absolutely Ludicolo. Okay. I'm definitely not mad about Ludicolo. Um, but I know it doesn't learn any moves. So that's a whole thing. And I have to combo punch still. It's not living a revenge. I have to hope for two combo punches. That's my only chance right now. That's Mega Train already. And if it, it might have a water type move too. And if it does, like that's that's pretty good. Okay, maybe one more. Okay. Um. So apparently Pikmin is really good at getting crits for some reason. Um. Is there's no way Comet Punch is a high crit move. They wouldn't have a multi hit move have a high crit ratio. That makes no sense. Got the Ludicolo, and I already got the name for it right here. <clears throat> I am going to use the name from the filthiest of casuals, and I'm just going to name this Ludicolo Casual. Thank you for the recent subscription to the channel, and I hope you, get, you stick around and enjoy the content that we are doing. I think I'm just gonna go casual. Casual, you know. We're just casual out here. Alright, let's check out what he's got. He's got nature power. Nature power's not bad. He's doing a lot of PP moves. Actually, I, I'm pretty happy. He's got airlock. Airlock's not bad. Okay. So, I already got the encounter here, so we're all good now. Um, I'm actually pretty happy about Ludicolo. He's a final stage Mon, he's got decent stats, and he's got a good amount of PP on his moves. The only thing I kind of need to look out for is... Well, uh, if my brain didn't just blank, then I would tell you. Nope, it's not there. Oh, I know, there it is. Uh, I just need to make sure I don't switch him in right now with him being uh, low on the HP scale. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick up more Pokeballs before we get any more encounters. And I'm going to start by getting encounters that are absolutely necessary. How much is a stick even worth? It's only worth 100. Okay, it's not even worth selling. What about that air mail? 25. Sure. That could make break another Pokeball or Potion. Alright. We'll buy... Only buy eight. Okay, that's a little scary. Um... I'm gonna buy six. I need, I need a little bit of money in case I need more potions. Because we have a lot of trainers coming up, and I need to make sure I'm gonna be good. I honestly kind of want to get the encounter for here now and save the encounter on that other route. The, the one that goes like up from that first from the first route. I want to save that until I like am in a little bit better of a position to go catch another mom. Oh, we got the Ludicolo. I love him. All right, so we did get the Metatite. Having a Psychic type isn't bad. It's it's more just like I wanted something a little bit more, I guess. Um, it's going to use Bide, too, so I really can't hit it. It's like, if I use Comet Punch, then I think I'm going to have the negative priority because of Stall. So I need to be a little bit careful here. Yeah, okay, it does go for Bide. So I think I, I kind of need to throw balls right now, which I don't like doing. It's kind of wasting money. But I don't want to just give up on Encounter. I've got Ludicolo, who, like, could probably hit it a little bit, but then I have to heal him, too. I'm not getting more than one shake on this thing. Oh, man. Ludicolo even has, like, an extra move that I could use. Yeah, okay, I I'm gonna have to switch out to Ludicolo. I'm thinking this thing does only have Bide, but I think I'm going to be fine. 
He literally left him on 1 HP. That's so wild. If this, if this meta ties anything other than um, Bide, then I literally like will take a really hard hit. And like lose casual way before I should. Okay, well I made the mistake of doing that. But I'm going to do no damage to this thing, so I can switch out. Okay, I can map this. So I did 6 to 7 damage to it, so it's going to do like 14 to me. I'm going to go ahead and switch on to Pikmin. I might have to like use a healing time more like sooner than I really want to. Unless I catch it just right here. Let's go! Look at that. Casual and Pikmin. What a team. What a team. And we're diversifying the genders too. Let's go. Alright, we got the name for this one too. This one's going to be Haynes. Haynes the Brave Soldier. Thank you for the description to the channel. And I hope you continue to watch this series and anything in the future. All right, let's check out the meta type while we're here. Oh, it's got an item. It's got a power build, actually. Hello. Ooh, battle armor. Okay. It does only abide, which that's really bad. That means I have to switch train him. Okay. With where we're at right now, I think we're going to go ahead and end off the episode... I really want to go into the Pokemon Center so badly. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and end off this this episode uh, with our three, you know, our three Pokemon we have here. And hopefully we can continue on and do something good in the future, I would say. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, bye guys.